How's it going? Sebastian Cruz here, head coach of the Elite Physique Academy. Hope you're doing well today. Today, we have a chef superstar, Emeril Lagasse. Bam! We're gonna be checking out his chicken parm recipe, you know, doing our usual. We're gonna take a look and see, is Emeril being reasonable with the calories? Using appropriate levels of each of the ingredients to get the recipe done? Or is he a calorie abuser with this recipe? Oil everywhere, flour everywhere, needlessly. That's what we do here, and that's what we're gonna find out. So let's just get right in the video, see how Emeril does with his chicken parmesan. Most popular chicken dishes here in America is the classic Italian chicken parmesan. My family and friends, they go crazy for this dish. So I thought I would share the recipe for you. Let's get started. Good or bad, healthy or unhealthy, that looks fire. Uh, just the presentation plating there, top notch. You know there's a good chef when they can make something look like that. This is really a simple dish, folks. We're gonna take two chicken breasts, wash, clean them. Excellent, just wanna preface, chicken breast is my favorite. It's pretty much pure protein, especially when you have it trimmed like that. Can't get enough of using chicken breast in recipes. And we're gonna put them right here on a little plastic that I have, fold it over. And what we wanna do is we're just gonna to wanna to pound the chicken a little bit, just to get a sort of an even surface. And how many calories does this add? Absolutely zero, so tenderizing chicken is always a phenomenal idea. Can't recommend that enough either. Once that happens, <clears throat> very simple. We're gonna go into some flour. It's gonna be seasoned with a little bit of my essence. <laughs> That's so badass. When you're calling like a spice blend your essence. That's when you know you're a cook. I, I hope I get to do that someday. That That's pretty sick. Oh, perfect. Gonna season the chicken with a little essence. And then the first step is to go right into the flour, which is called dredging. And then we're gonna add a little bit more essence on that side of the chicken. I've got one egg. Smart, that's a smart move by Emeril. Cause this dredge, the, this whole thing he's got going on, assembly line, that will add calories. So if you're gonna add something extra, a low cal spice blend, perfect compliment and breadcrumbs. This is a classic breading, no matter what you want to bread, from mushrooms to chicken to beef. Now watch, from the flour to the egg. And right into the breadcrumbs. This is pretty much what's expected with a, you know, normal chicken parmesan. There's pure egg, looks like there's simple bread crust, crust, and simple flour. So I'm glad he's acknowledging that, that those things have calories, they didn't need anything special added to them, and he didn't add anything special to them, other than the low calorie spice blend at the beginning. So, so far so good for Chef Emeril. Now, from there, it's quite simple. I'm gonna set our pan on about medium heat, a little olive oil in the skillet. A little? All right. I mean, call a spade a spade here, my friend. With that, you're pretty much almost shallow frying these bad boys. That's a ton of oil. Like, imagine a little tablespoon. I mean, that has to be like at least, I don't know, like five to eight tablespoons of olive oil. Like, that's where we start running into issues. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our breaded chicken we begin to fry them. You know, the other classic too is doing the same thing with veal. The heat is on and we begin to start sauteing them. I've got a little tomato sauce and I also have two cheeses. I have a little mozzarella. What would be bad to put on a breaded chicken would be like a pesto or like an oil because then you're taking heavy calories with heavy calories. So using a tomato, tomatoes as a sauce base for something kind of heavy like a chicken parm that's been breaded, excellent choice, very good. And I have a little Parmesan, Parmesan Reggiano. 
delicious. And now what we're going to do is turn. Look at how beautiful that is. See that? Set the oven on, oh, about 350 degrees. If you wanted to save calories and you wanted to make this recipe a little lower cal, you could just bake it or air fry it and you save yourself all those calories from the oil that he just generously poured on the pan. So if you think this is looking tasty and you're not open to all the calories, just don't shallow fry it. Just use an air fryer or an oven, you know. Very simple thing you could do here to save calories. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the chicken. We're gonna add a little bit of the sauce on top. And then what we're gonna do is we're first gonna put a little mozzarella. All right, that, that's another pet peeve. A little mozzarella? I mean, call a spade a spade here, guys. If, if you're teaching people watching this that that's a little mozzarella, you're just gonna get used to people putting hundreds of extra calories on things, like literally hundreds of that's full of fat cheese right there. Little Parmesan. And into the oven. It goes 350 for about 12 to 14 minutes. That chip. To his credit, the Parmesan was actually a little. That little sprinkle, you wanna call that a little? I'll let that, that I'm okay with that. That, that was appropriate. Chicken really cooks through and the cheese melts and gets absolutely just gooey and oh, so delicious. Now, how I serve this is simply with a little sauce on the plate. Oh. Okay, okay, I, I see what happened here. So first there was cooking the chicken, which is what he used all that oil for on the pan, and then there was baking it to melt the cheese. You still could do both of those steps with just like an air fryer and oven. Just, you put the chicken by itself with the dredge, into like an air fryer or an oven, wait for that to cook, and once it's ready, then you can put the sauce and cheese on top and put it back in again. Should be similar effect, and again, you save all those oil calories, which is a smart option. Look at that. Just a little sauce on the plate. And then... Also another little when he pulls like the whole pan of sauce. Granted, sauce, smart choice. Not a ton of calories there, but I guess Emerald's concept of a little and lot might be a little different than our concept of it. So at least he's consistent, I guess. We bring our chicken parmesan right to the table. Oh. Now, I love serving my chicken parmesan with pasta. Doesn't that look delicious? I mean, you want to just dig right in there, right? Especially for... So pairing it with a pasta, which is just very caloric for a reasonable amount. You know, even just like a cup full of pasta is gonna have like a few hundred calories. Pretty poor pairing for this, even though it is traditional. And that's one of the reasons why Italian food tends to have a lot of calories, because you have special preparations like this chicken parm, and you're pairing it something with a lot of calories like the pasta. Again, here a perfect side would be like a salad, fresh vegetables, you know, something of that nature, just to balance out the chicken and cheese, which is very calorie dense tonight your family will love this and as always i thank you for watching yeah no question I, I that looks delicious i think anyone who's not lactose intolerant would find that delicious as well it's chef emerald so i trust that his recipe is really good but now on for the final verdict is emerald a calorie king or is he a calorie abuser this one isn't as clear cut so let's go through the pros and cons good Chicken breast, tomato sauce, his essence, which just looked to be a spice blend. Those are calorie efficient, great combinations of flavor. He also, to get that nice sear of mozzarella on the chicken, used oven heat. He didn't add any extra oils to get that effect. Downsides, cheese. He said it was a little cheese, and just generally his concept of a little and lot. He used a lot of olive oil, and he made it seem like that was what he needed for the chicken. He used a lot of cheese, and he said it was a little. He covered it in a lot of sauce, which doesn't have many calories, but it wasn't a little sauce, it was a lot. 
So just this concept of Lawton Little teetered on the side of calorie abusive. But overall, I wouldn't say he's a full on calorie abuser like Bobby Flay with the cinnamon bun pancakes. I don't think he was really focusing on calories, but I don't think he was being reckless with them either. He made chicken parm, he didn't do too much extra to jazz it up that would just add tons of blank calories. So it's a wash here. Liked his energy though, if you wanna say something nice. Presentation was great, seems like a great guy. I'm a fan, I'd love to do a video of his down the road. So yeah, I'll leave the video there. Thank you for watching, uh, it was fun watching Emeril. I'm actually not too familiar with him, so it was cool getting a sense of his vibe, cool seeing how he cooked. If you liked the video and you haven't liked it already, please do so, it really helps the channel. Subscribe if you like these and wanna keep seeing more of them, and if there's any chef I haven't done yet that you want me to get my hands on, let me know down in the comments and I'll add them to the list, or her. So, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Take care.